Hello folks, welcome to this short little recap of Pimax's announcement. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, they have just announced their next generation VR, generation 3.0 actually, and I had no idea what they were going to say. Um, I had an inkling, but what they actually did talk about has completely blown apart VR <laughs> as, as an industry. And of course, they have to deliver on this promise. But uh, from all accounts, this does sound insane. Uh, let me give you a bit of a recap. I'm going to read a little bit off my monitor, forgive me guys, because I'm still in a state of shock right now. I'm still shaking from uh, literally that presentation. I will link that in the description below. But in a nutshell, Pimax has announced their next generation virtual reality headset. It's going to be the 12K QLED display. So it's a 12K combined resolution, 6K QLED panels, uh, which are basically a mixture of Fresnel and aspheric lens design. That is something I was not expecting to hear from Pimax at all. Um, Incredible. There's a lot of things to talk about here, right? Okay. Including um, this headset is not only going to boast a 200 degrees field of view horizontal, it's going to be a total of 210 uh, degrees field of view, uh, I believe, because even the vertical field of view is going to be up uh, by 30 degrees, I believe. So even that's 130 degrees in itself. This thing is just the literally the exotic sports car when it comes to specs um where do we start here my god it's just there's so many things that they've mentioned here so the bionic display as i say is something i'm very intrigued about particularly because vario as you know with the aero has the aspheric lens design how is this going to compare to that um that's something i'm very intrigued about also um, this is going to be wireless and it actually is going to have an XR2 uh, Quadcom chipset. So it's going to be a hybrid, guys. You can, you're going to be able to plug it into your computer uh, natively with a fiber optic cable, which we've always wanted from the Quest 2, let's be honest. That would have been amazing. But this, you know, you're going to be able to play wireless PC gaming as well as, you know, enjoy high-end PC uh, you know, games and obviously Sims like Microsoft Flight Simulator. Imagine what it's going to look like in this headset. My God, it's also got auto IPD adjustments. This sounds a little bit like the Vario, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, you know, all of this, the presentation was very interesting, but I have to say that all of this is going to be possibly uh, released by Q4 of next year. Um, but the price really surprised me because uh, let's just have a look here. Um, the price is going to be $2,399. But the fact is, if you own an 8KX, if you buy one right now or tomorrow, up until the point where this is going to be released, I think 12 months after its release, I think, um, you will be able to trade in your Pimax for the full amount and trade that in, obviously, and all that money will go towards the new one. I'm not quite sure how they're going to do that, actually. I'm going to be interested to see what Pimax say, because how on earth are they going to be able to fund this thing? This is unbelievable news, guys. It just shows you that VR is absolutely alive and kicking. This thing also has facial and body tracking, all integrated with 11 cameras. Oh, my God. Like, literally, I can't believe this. So let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think of this announcement? I have just touched the surface of this and we'll do some more in-depth videos on this one. Um, but uh, it just shows you that Pimax is absolutely at the top of their game. This, at the moment, to me, is more of a concept. It's something that has to be delivered upon. Um, and I think for a VR gamer perspective, uh, this is an absolute wet dream, without a doubt. I mean, this thing even has a 6,000 milliamp battery. So this is a wireless and PC VR headset that is at the utmost high end that you would expect for a very good price. I've got to get my hands on one of these. I've just got to. I mean, my goodness me. And just to let you know, I actually do have a discount code for a brand new 8KX or any of the Pimax range. I'll stick that in the link in the description below. So even if you do decide to get on board with a Pimax, and I think if you did buy an 8KX now, 
the chances of you being able to trade that in for the new 12k QLED you'll probably get one a bit quicker actually as well I'd imagine because of the way that works I'm just guessing there but uh, wow what an amazing time for VR I said it guys VR is very much alive and kicking thank you so much for watching guys and as always I'll see you very soon bye bye for now